Hi Taurus, it's Leslie with your with your um, forecast for April and on the, the um, aspects I see for you. Um, I, first, I want to thank you so much, all of you, for your lovely comments and for all your views. And that really counts. It really counts. And I appreciate them all. They make me want to keep going with this. Um, if you would um, tell your friends, tell your friends about this. If you like this website, and also if you like, sorry, this YouTube, Amazing Leslie. But also tell them, please subscribe. I really, would help me an awful lot if you subscribe, just an awful lot, with YouTube and with Google. And um, let's get, first we're looking for another psychic to join our family. Someone has some experience and has done this before. Please give me a call or, or you know, whatever, whatever is a good mode for you, email them. Make sure you put your phone number in there, okay. Um, let's do your, let's get together with your horoscope here, your um, month ahead. There are some things you need to tie up this month. You really do. Um, projects to complete in early April. Whatever that may be, each one of you may have something very different because Taurus is ours. Your, your sign is very different in many ways, kind of like Aquarius, um, very different. You all are different. Not that it's bad, but you're not, I can't, you're not fit in a category. You can see your intentions on April 12th. Your intentions, um, that, which could be a start of something great, especially from April 20th to May 21st. Um, this could be a project you're doing through your work a way to really promote your work. Uh, if you have an in-home business, it could be that. If you have a, um, something you're going to do within your home, you'll get it done by May 21st. You could manifest amazing things. This is a month, very, very good month for you, Taurus. Amazing, amazing things. It's your turn to sparkle. You need to get out of yourself and sparkle. You need to really get out of yourself. Um, you need to remember for forgiving, forgetting, Forgiving is forgetting. And remember, as you carry grudges with you, and Taurus, I know that um, this could be, some, some of you, could be a problem. You, you can't go forward if you're looking in the rearview mirror all the time. It's just not possible. And remember, the only person that's hurting is you because nobody is set out to in, intentionally hurt you or do anything that would hurt you. And your life, your life must go on. And if it doesn't go on, What's, what good is it for you? What good is it getting up in the morning? Think about that one. Okay. You can, it's your, after April 20th, Venus will also be moving through your house, your first house. Beauty, creativity, and attention, attraction. The full moon on the 27th highlights your seventh house of partnership. It's a month when, um, as I said last month, it could be the last time you could go back to a relationship where you've thought about going back to. Um, It'll keep you on your toes. Um, there may be some, some changes of value-related matters. Um, in your relationship of the past, um, either you have to forget everything that you hold, you harbor and hold, and, and harbor, and hate. And hate, hate is not good. Hate is not good for you, Taurus. Um, and go forward with just a clear slate, a clear slate, so everything is good and new and clean. Um, if not, forget forget the, the person from the past is gone right now. Unless you can do something, I guess that song by Nicolette Larson is, it takes going to take a lot of love, love, would really be, and you can find it on YouTube, it's going to take a lot of love. We'll take that this time. If not, look for someone new. Look for someone new if you're not interested in someone new. Uh, you, you do need someone in your life. You really do need someone in your life. Uh, there may be some changes changes for you, a value matters. So remember that you are worthy, you are beautiful, and you need to be seen and heard. And that's the problem, you really need to be seen and heard. You can be a star in your own in your own right. If you stay present and flexible, you're letting things flow into your way. Um, surrender, surrender is sometimes the most important, the most important action when things are not working out for you as you expected them to. And things are not working out for you, Taurus. I feel there's a, they could be working out wonderful for some of you and for some of you not. So please really keep in mind, keep in mind that forgive and forget and forgiving is forgetting and cleaning the slate to make your life better. And it's a month where you could find love. You could find love. Your best days are the 10th, the 12th, and the 20th. Um, let's do the cards for you, Taurus. I'm sorry, that probably wasn't the most positive for you. Um, 
and I know you've been following my channel for quite a while, so um, just to think about that because I, I've, I've talked to quite a few of you and, and it's just let the past go. Okay. Well, and even someone in your life who's been a very good friend um, has kind of pulled away because they feel you're harboring something um, or they don't want to hear it what you're harboring. Um, and they're trying to help you and you won't let them. And here they are. The very good friend you were talking to. Um, your, health, your health will be better. And if you're worried about someone's health, they will be better. They will get better. And you're learning. You're learning how hard it is for you to learn, to in your near future, to, to as this, I call him the apprentice. And he's learning something new. And this is how to handle adversity in your life. And not harbor it. And then... Here's an opportunity to have fun. Have fun, which you haven't had in a long time. Have fun, enjoy life um, with friends, with friends. And this is a wonderful card. It's your most positive influence. Get out there and go a little bit and visit. Visit, enjoy people around you because people really love you. They really do. Thinking about a new goal, uh, something you may be doing, thinking how to enhance it some and do more. And you will find some. You've already achieved one goal, as it is here. He's, he's really looking. Out. He's looking out to the mountains, to the waters, to the hills to see what's best for him. And the fool says, it's your op opposition because the fool, I love this card, because he's nipping, see the little dog nipping at your heels. He says, go for it, jump, go ahead for it. And you're afraid, you're afraid. You know, no matter what you do, there's someone there to catch you underneath there. But you can always come back to where you were. You can always come back to that. So don't be afraid to go. Don't be afraid to try. Try it. Here you are. Um, and these are symbolic, whether it be a man or a woman. You're, you're going to get yourself back. You're going to start doing things again. You're going to start, I see, maybe losing weight, maybe working out, maybe um, going out amongst people, and also maybe losing some weight so you get some new new clothes, new, um, new hairdo, everything. Because you see, she has a parrot in her hand, and the parrot is, she doesn't have to tie it. If you notice that the parrot is not tied or anything, the parrot just wants to be with her. She doesn't have to control it. So it's a great month for you, Taurus. Have a great month. Bye-bye.